All right, so what is up, guys? In this video, I want to go over abstract classes and how to use them in Kotlin. So let's get started immediately by creating an abstract class. So we're going to write abstract class, and this is going to be a person. And inside here, we are going to create a block, and we're going to create a variable of age, which we are going to assign the value 27 to it. And then we're going to create a function called display age, and it's going to take age as a parameter. And inside here, we will write print line age is age. Then immediately under we are going to write an abstract function. And we will just start by writing abstract function print message. And that's going to take a message of type string. And then below this, we are going to create another class, this one's going to be a normal class, it's going to be called class coder. And that's going to take a name in the constructor of type string, and it's going to inherit from person. And you might already have noticed that the class coder has a red underline there, which means it wants us to do something. And that is because we are using an abstract class. And the difference between an abstract class and a normal class is that you cannot instantiate an abstract class, you can inherit from it, but you cannot instantiate it. So we need to click on implement members, and it will override this abstract function of print message. So you can think of abstract, the abstract keyword as kind of like a contract. So everything in the class that extends person must use this abstract function over here, because that is the contract they have agreed to. And actually, we are going to create another value. So we're going to write private value name equals underscore name, then inside the print message function, we are going to write a print line statement. And inside we will write your name is name another print line statement, which will say personalized message colon, and we are going to enter in our message. And one more thing I forgot to mention is that this abstract keyword means that the class is open, and it will always be open as long as it is defined as an abstract class. So these are both open. This is an open function. And this is an open class. And that's why we can use it so easily down here. So we can also write abstract var. And as soon as we turn this into an abstract variable, we must implement it in our coder class because it is a contract. And we must implement it. So we will click on OK. And you'll see here that we will override the variable of age in our constructor, and everything will work fine. But let's get rid of that. And let's move straight to our main function, we can try to create a value of person and use our person class. But the IDE will not be happy with that because it will tell you that you cannot create an instance of an abstract class. And that is because it is an abstract class. So instead, what we are going to do is write value coda. And we are going to equal that to coda, which inherits from the abstract class and gives it all the methods it needs. So we'll write uh, a name which will be even. And let's just add an R there before I forget. And then down here, we'll write coda dot age, and we will assign that to 54. And then we will write coda dot display age, which is the function from the abstract class. So we do not have to create it inside the coda class because it has been inherited from person. And we can just use it anywhere we want. So inside here, we'll write display age, and we will take the coder dot age, which has been set to 54. And finally, we will call coder dot print message. And the message we will include for this one is I love to code. And as you can see, abstract classes are actually very easy to use. So in the end, let's go ahead and click on play. And you can see as soon as it's done compiling that we get the age is 54 because we set it here, then it says your name is even and that's because we entered the name of even here and that placed it right in here. Then we have a personalized message that says I love to code. And that is the message that we chose to include here, which also got included in our print message function. But anyways, I hope this video helped to clarify what the abstract keyword was used for, and how it could be used to simplify creating subclasses, or classes that want to inherit from other classes, it just simplifies quite a lot. But that is all for this video. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao.